how to delete negative google business profile reviews tutorial hey guys welcome back to the youtube channel today we'll be taking a look at how you can delete negative reviews on your google business profile now i have showed you guys a couple of times how to build your google business profile and how can you delete a review if there are negative reviews on your profile well it is actually a little difficult to delete reviews as a owner. You will not be able to directly delete any kind of reviews. However, there are a few methods that I will show you guys which can enable you to delete some reviews. Now, first off, if you go into Google Business Profile Manager, you can go on ahead and take a look at your Google Business Profiles. And let's say you open up your profiles from over here. And these are just sample profiles that I created for you guys when I was showing you guys how to build your profiles. But I added my own fake review. So I gave a fake review or a low rated review. And you can see you also have a get review section. So what I recommend first off is to see whether or not the review is valid so if you open up your google business profile and you're like okay this person actually has some good criticism maybe they gave you a two-star rating because of some issues that they faced or they gave you a two-star rating because there were some difficulties in their procedure so on and so forth if the review is valid if they are making a point if it's somewhat valid then I don't recommend that you file a complaint. In that situation, I would simply recommend for you guys to move on and just, uh, you know, reply to that person, talk to them, be answer their queries, answer their difficulties, talk to them and be like, you know, the customer is always right. You have to make sure to keep that in mind whenever you are trying to answer these reviews in the review section. Now, if you have one bad review, it does not affect your overall Google business rating. I actually think that if you have like a couple of medium ratings or bad ratings a one star review or a two star review one or two bad reviews won't hurt your business especially if you have you know a bunch of five star ratings because that makes your business seem more realistic it makes your business seem more approachable more realistic because a business listing with five star ratings often seems fake like if i see a five star rated google business sometimes i just think oh this person buy reviews are they buying reviews so that is also a thing to keep in mind whenever you know removing reviews or getting reviews removed so if you take a look at these businesses over here so let's say i'm just going to write a review i'm just going to enter that and I'm just posting like a fake bad review for my own business. And just like that, I've entered a bad review. So I'm just doing this to show you guys how you are going to claim a report. Now, once you have, you know, gotten a couple of bad reviews and you're like, okay, this review is not valid. So if it's just a hateful review, if they're just being mean, they're not, you know, criticizing anything, they're just being mean or being, you know, like, hey, this place sucks or I don't like it, so on and so forth, without any proper reasoning, then then you should get it removed but make sure to keep in mind you don't want to bother with trolls you just want to get trolls removed don't reply to those people through this method instead of you know replying to them but make sure if someone is being you know critical of you if someone is being critical of the business like oh i saw dirt over there that's why i'm giving them a one-star review you can be like hey we keep our cleanliness we are focusing on we focus a lot on hygiene and uh, maybe you were mistaken and so on and so forth because a lot of the times if you communicate with the person that left a bad review often those people will change their reviews if you talk to them or reply to them now if you want to still get a review removed then simply head on over to support.google.com and once you do that you will be able to see from over here uh, that you have this section so how to remove reviews from your business profile on google so for that you can read on the reviews policy and it says the same thing as i was covering with you guys previously that it needs to be a valid claim so they need to be just unreasonably hateful or untrue reviews then you can get it removed so you will simply click on request review removal once you do that, you're going to confirm the email. So the email that you're using to create your Google business listing, the one that you used over there, you're just going to enter that and click on confirm. Then you're going to enter which business that you want to get the removed from. So I want to get a review removed from my Jane slash studio and click on continue. And you can go on ahead and then select the review that you want. Uh, currently, it's not detecting the reviews that I just left on my own business because I just left them. So it takes a couple of 
uh, seconds for everything to get loaded on to you know get onto the platform but once it is you know showing up over here you will simply see to select what kind of review it is and which review it is and why you want to get it removed so we're just going to enter that so in this section after that they will just ask you you know what kind of review is this and why do you want to get it removed and then they will uh, report or audit your claim so other than that if there is something like if google says no this is a valid review we cannot remove it then the only possibility is that the person that uploaded the review they if they delete it then they delete it other than that you can't really do much about it about a bad review on your business i know a lot of guys are worried a lot of you guys are worried about you know these bad ratings but keep in mind that not a lot of people have the spare time to leave bad reviews unnecessarily so make sure you are keeping that in mind whenever you are trying to get reviews removed so in this way you can really choose to remove reviews or report reviews in a way and then google will review what you have you know marked as a invalid review and then they will be like okay if it is actually you know just hateful or just being rude then they will remove it if they don't find it as so they won't now i would say that in most situations they are not going to remove your bad reviews oftentimes they just you know they really don't have a legitimate process you could say to vet these kinds of reviews so they really just have to go with the flow and it's very very unlikely that you will be able to get a removal but if it is super hateful i definitely do recommend that you report it and as a business owner i do recommend you should report negative reviews that are unnecessary or that are just being spiteful or hateful that have not actually you know been to your business or that are not actually promoting your business now if you are not able to get a review removed then don't fear or don't lose hope but i would recommend that you go back into your business listing and click on get reviews now this can get you a link you can get an email link you can get a whatsapp a facebook link and you can just copy this link and send it to some of your you know frequent customers or you know your habitual customers those people that often visit your business simply send it to them and be like hey uh, we have been facing some issues and we really want to get a couple of good reviews on our business profile because we have been getting you know unfair reviews and we want to get a you know good a couple of you could share your good experience experiences with our business on our profile that would be amazing and oftentimes your customers are going to comply they would love to share their experiences with your business and in this way even if you get a bad review the good reviews are simply going to shine a little brighter and show the better side of your business so i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video